Our next topic is our next topic is bag of words. Now, bag of word simply means it will help us knowing like in every particular line which word is occurring how many times. Right? So let's explain, let me explain you with the help of example. So I have imported all the required modules over here. We are using count vectorizer because count vectorizer is responsible when we want to get bag of words, right? And we are importing pandas also. So in a contained variable, I have these two lines. We love India. India is great. So these are the two different lines and I want to perform this bag of word operation on it. So first of all, I have created one variable with the name of count vectorizer. And in this particular variable, I'm calling this count vectorizer algorithm, right? Now, I have another variable bag of words. In this bag of words variable, I'm calling this count vectorizer dot fit underscore transform. Fit underscore trans transform simply means fit means we are fitting data into our algorithm and then algorithm is transforming that data, right? And after transforming that data, our algorithm split lines means we have two lines. It will give us results line wise. It will split the lines and it will uh, show us the result line wise, right? And then we are converting that data into a data frame. And first of all, we want to convert our data into a data frame. And bag of words, bag of word this, we are converting this into an array, right? And then that array we are converting into a data frame and these are the columns. Columns is equal to means we need a column heading, right? If you remember from your previous classes of pandas, whenever we are creating a data frame, so we need to mention the column names also. But in our case, we, we cannot define column name ourselves because column heading, these column headings are the different vocabulary values of the data set. So what all different values we were having? We love India. India is great. So means all the words which are present in our data set, all those different words will become a different column heading, right? So this is what we are getting. These different column names we are getting by using this count vectorizer dot get featured names, right? So you see over here, this is for first uh, sentence and this is for second sentence. And so this 0, 1 simply means in our first sentence, we don't have great word. You can check over here, we love India, great word is not present over here. So that's why 0 over here. And in first line, we have India word. So that's why it's 1. That simply means this word is present in first uh, sentence also. This is how you can check the output. Means in uh, if I talk about this next sentence, so India is great means India and great is present in second line. So that's why we got one below great and one one um, below India and uh, one for is also. This is what bag of word is, right? So bag of word simply means ki how many times any word is occurring in a sentence or a document. This is what bag of word is and this is how you can solve the problem of bag of words, right? Now, let's suppose uh, we want to check the frequency of words, means which particular word is occurring more time in a document and which particular word is occurring very less time in a document. And so that thing we can plot by using frequency distribution plot. FREQ test by using this particular plot, we can see the frequency of words. So what we have done is imported, I have imported NLTK and then I have imported matplotlib. Why I have imported matplotlib? Because I want to draw a graph and content is a variable in which we have um, a sentence on the basis of which I want to uh, plot this frequency distribution plot. And obviously, as I've told you, always remember, if you want to perform any task on this, you need to convert this data into a small, small tokens, first of all, using word tokenizer. So that's what I'm using over here. I'm tokenizing the words. I'm separating the words which are present in this content variable. 
and then I am using FREQ disk frequency disk plot on it. Right? And when you plot it, this type of output you will get. So you can simply see like this cake word present these many times and off word is present these many times. So this is just for an analysis purpose so that you'll get an idea like which particular word is occurring more in your document and which word is occurring less in your document. So that's it for today's class. Thank you.